Hey guys, it's Shelly Penny. I've been lucky enough to have the opportunity to play with a new app by the Explained Yo people called Flickgraph. Flickgraph creates cinemagraphs, and cinemagraphs are pictures with an isolated area of animation like you see here. The reason these are so effective, especially in marketing, is that the movement is in contrast with the stillness of the image, and it triggers in your subconscious that something is out of the ordinary and draws your attention to it like a magnet. So let's go to the Flickgraph app and I'll show you how easy it is to make super cool cinemagraphs in about three minutes flat like this cat that you see and uh, this guy with the phone. So let's go. Okay, so now I'm inside of the Flickgraph interface and I'm gonna show you just exactly how easy it is to make a cinemagraph of your own. So first of all, you click the green button here that says open video and you search for your video. I'm going to click the waterfall one and it takes a moment to load the video. One thing I'll say about Flickgraph, uh, one of the downfalls, and uh, it's something that I found with all of the apps that use Adobe Air is that it's a little bit resource intensive. So you'll find that it uses a lot of uh, CPU. Sometimes you might have to close down other apps while you're using this. So anyways, okay, my video is loaded here. And what I do is I've got these sliders up in the top left-hand corner. It says choose video duration with start and end sliders. So I just move the slider to wherever I want to start and then I'll move the other slider to where I want the uh, action to end. So that looks good. In this case, it's a, st it's a waterfall flowing steady so it doesn't really matter from start to beginning. Um, now you can see in the video there are a number of different moving options here so I have a number of, I could choose to make the trees continue to move or the waterfall or the water pool itself um, and I think I'm just going to choose a section of the waterfall just to show you what that looks like so once I have the sliders chosen here I click on lock that and the second uh, slider comes up and it says to choose the still frame and I'll give you an option uh, anywhere along the timeline of your movie here. So I'm just going to choose this one. That looks good. And I'm going to click lock. And as soon as I click the lock here, the camera pops up. And the camera is where I have the option to erase some of the still to reveal the action underneath. All right. So I'm going to click that green camera and I get a an interface on the left hand side, a little toolbar that comes up. Um, so I'm going to choose, it's already set to erase and I have a size here. I think I'm going to erase the middle section of this uh, waterfall here. So I'm going to reduce the size just a little wee bit. Um, the opacity um, gives you the option to erase some or all of this. It helps with blending um, when you do that. So I'm just going to leave it at the default opacity for now and I'm just going to click here to start erasing and as you see the motion starts to be revealed underneath um, and depending on how you have the opacity set you may have to click a number of times um, to get the proper amount of movement that you see underneath I'm just going to go right down to here and I think I'll do a little bit of this side thing here. All right. Now, as you can see up above here, I got a little bit of movement in the trees. And I don't really want the movement in the trees. I just want the waterfall here. So what I do is I go over to the left-hand side where it says erase. And I move the slider to unerase. And reduce the size of my cursor a little bit. And then I just uh, move over the area here that I want to stop movement on. And again, depending on the opacity, you may have to click it uh, several times to get the movement uh, completely stopped or to get it to look how you want it to look. Um, so there we go. There's my cinemagraph. It's really cool. I just think this is the coolest thing ever. So I'm going to go up to the top and I'm going to export the video. I could also choose to save the product, uh, the project, um, but I'm going to export my video. And now I have my choice of 
format MP4 or um, an animated GIF file. I'm going to name name my file uh, Waterfall 2 because I've already got one saved called Waterfall. I'm just going to save it to my desktop. Uh, and the original size is 1920 by 1080. You can play with those sizes. But what I found uh, with this is that you, with the original size, you get the full boundaries of your video. Um, I did try to change the size and what I found was that it cropped as opposed to shrinking the video. So I'm just going to leave it there for now. And then down at the bottom here, you're going to choose how many times you want it to loop. So I just choose, you know, somewhere between 10 and 20. It depends on what you're using it for. If you want it to loop for a long time, um, then you can set it higher. And then, and then just click export and it's going to export quite quickly. Uh, of course, depending on the uh, size of the video, of the length of video and everything else, but it doesn't take very long to export. And then I'm going to export it as um, an animated GIF file too, so you can see that successfully exported. Uh, I don't even have to go out of this um, screen. I can just click over to the GIF, click export again, and it's going to export as a, an animated GIF file. Okay, so now let's go see the final results of that. This is the GIF. Isn't that awesome? Oh, I just think this is so cool. All right, and this is the MP4 of the same uh, shot. So there you have it, flick graph. So this super fun app is gonna be available for sale on December the 13th. And if I were you, I'd grab it in the first couple of days because that's when the price is going to be the lowest. And you're going to have a ton of fun with it. This is Shelly Penny. Talk to you soon.